Hey everyone, welcome back to My Meals on Heels. We're coming to you today from the home of my dear, dear friends, Joan and Ernie Mangino. We're up in the northern midwestern part of the United States, close to the Canadian border, and we are in Scandinavian countries. So today we're going to be featuring Swedish pancakes and blackberry compote. Okay, so my special guest chef today is going to be Dominic Mangino, their son. He is this crazy, crazy brainiac kid. In fact, he just entered a national essay contest on the Holocaust, and he won a free, all-expense-paid trip to Washington, D.C. for him and his family. Hey, Dom. Good morning. Good morning. Our special guest chef today is Dominic Mangino. He's just adding the milk and the eggs into the flour for the German pancakes, also sometimes called crepes, kind of the same thing. So he's just going to stir them all up, mix them up good, nice thin batter, and then he's going to cook them all up for us today. Dominic is a historian extraordinaire. Okay, Dom, we'll check back with you in a minute. Okay, the berry compote is very simple to make. It's just a combination of fresh berries, a little sugar and water, and if you want to add a little cinnamon, cloves, a little spice, something like that. And blackberries are an excellent, excellent source of fiber. They're loaded with vitamin C and potassium, and they taste good. Okay, so we're coming to you from the Canadian outback, looking for blackberries, trying to get to them before the blackberries do. Look at it out there. Or if you don't want to go on a hunting expedition in the Canadian backwoods, just go to the grocery store and buy some. Oh, look, see, they have plenty of blackberries right here. And today we've also made a nice uh, blackberry syrup with just some equal parts of sugar and water and crushed berries. We're going to put those on the crepes today. Simmering away. Takes about 15 minutes to cook down. Okay, Dom is starting on the German pancakes crepes. He just sprayed the pan. Now he's going to put about a third of a cup of batter in there. And you just pick the pan up and tip it around just like that. Kind of coat the bottom. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's why it's homemade. Put a little love in each one. <laughs> right, Dom? Okay, so he's going to do, you uh, have to do one, each one individually. It takes about maybe a minute to two minutes on each side and flip it when it turns golden brown on the bottom. Hey, Dom, how are your crepes looking? Uh, pretty good. All right, let's see this one. Ah, that looks perfect. Belly, belly nice. All right. Yeah, I know. Dominic's kind of quiet, isn't he? Did you ever hear that saying, still waters run deep? That's right. He doesn't say much, but he's got a lot going on upstairs. Unlike me, the babbling brook. Blah, 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 blah. Help, I'm talking and I can't shut up. Okay, everyone. So here are our finished German pancakes or crepes with fresh blackberries. Compliments of Dominic Mangino. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you. Ah, the Canadian backwoods. Okay, so you can finish this dish off with a little dollop of whipped cream or sour cream, or the wise nutritional choice would be a little dollop of Greek yogurt, and it tastes great. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Be sure to give to your favorite charity or do something nice for somebody today. Cook, eat, and enjoy.